Islam, Islam, Islam. Welcome to another episode of Moorish Sense, the Moorish Sense radio show. We debate, we communicate, we don't debate. I am Brendan Jordan L, and I'm alongside. I'm Sheik Melvin Valens Bay. And we thank you all for tuning in this evening. Tonight's subject, Moorish conduct and character. Um, of course, we want to confirm ourselves with a record, but first and foremost, I'd like to rise and give praises to um, the Universal Creator. Um, many names, Universal Creator goes by many names. I personally choose to use the name. I'll call him by his name, which is Allah, which is his personal and proper name. Um, I give praises to the great Universal Creator, Allah, give an honor to the Prophet Noble Jor Ali, who came and brought us our nationality, our birthrights, our divine creed. And gave us back our, our vast estate, Islam. 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 Um, tonight we'll be drawing from Moore's conduct and character. I would like to pick up on the Moore's literature, which is a compilation of the Prophet Noble Jali's words, Islam. And specifically, when we're dealing with conduct and character, the Prophet Noble Jali gives you and I a guideline. He gives us a guideline on how we're supposed to conduct ourselves as uh, Moorish Americans, men and women, as well as children. The Prophet Noble Jali demonstrates um, our character and our conduct, even in our divine constitution and bylaws, specifically Act 7. Um, tonight, I wanted to uh, draw from the Prophet Noble Jali's works and teachings, which is general laws as said by the Prophet. Now, this particular um, mandate that was given and directed by the Prophet Noble Jali was Tuesday, October 17, 1928. And ironically, no irony to it, but it just so happened that October 17, 1928, was during the time of the first annual convention. Is that right, Sheik? That's right. That's right. It was uh, the first annual convention of the Moorish Science Temple of America was held October the 15th through the 20th, 1928. Praise Allah. Praise Allah. Um, so I'm going to take a reading, and I just want to point out and hit on a few points. Uh, general laws are said by the Prophet, Tuesday, October 17th. 1928, coming from the Lord's God. Every temple and head is to function by words, deeds, and actions, imitating the prophet, especially when teaching a group of Moors, any group of Moors. These are the general laws, the supreme laws will be handed down, handed down you later. The heads of all temples are to submit a report monthly of all finances. The heads of all temples are to refrain from all wrathful words, profanity in the mildest form from all members of his or her temple. They must live the life of love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice, and refrain from all alcoholic liquors or any other harmful possibility that will be a detriment to peace, to destroy peace, or any other of the divine principles. They are not to contribute to anything that will cause the public to disagree with him or her. And for one to lead a group of Moors, you must keep your house clean, clean with good words, kind words. Your wives, brothers must hear good words, kind words, and must know of your good deeds. If there are children, you must see to their support. Follow this divine principle. For if you don't restrict to this divine principle, then you are not a true Moor. And the heads are not to charge membership or to overcharge for cards, mm -hmm. buttons, or anything issued by the prophet. Those who contribute to either are the proceeding are not Moors, but robbers. And that's very important, you know? Yeah, very important. Yeah. And, and, and let me say, right, um, here, October the 17th, 1928, mm -hmm. you see that, you know, the prophet had to hand down some general laws. Right. Um, maybe people were not acting according to whatever they, that had been issued to them. Um, so the prophet, you know, him being divine as who he is, he issued out general laws. Right. These are general things that we should abide by, exactly. which are in line with our, as we said, principles, which are to be internalized. That's right. And, you know, if you see people going um, left according to this right here, because uh, our organization, the Moore Science Temple of America, according to 
the Quran question is for most Americans. Mm -hmm. It was for the uplifting of fallen humanity. That's right. So the people who are referring to themselves as being Negroes, Blacks, Colors, mm -hmm. Ethiopians, and whatever names that they choose to call themselves today, okay. um, they have fell to a state where you know they needed to be uplifted. Exactly. And this is where you know we come in, we join the organization, right. we become members, right. and as a result of becoming members, we have some general laws that we need to follow. Exactly. And if you see people that's, you know, drinking alcohol, we're mm -hmm. not saying beat them up, right? But hey, you going, man can't serve two masters. You know, he's gonna love one, one and hate the other. That's right. And you know, when we look at all prophets of old, mm -hmm. we see that, you know, they were poised men. That's right. You know, they they were uplifting people to come into the knowledge of what it is that they needed to do in order to carry out the mission that was sent to them by the great God of law. Absolutely. So this is, you know, and imitate. That's right. Um, that's a very interesting word, okay. you know, because you you have people who say, I'm gonna imitate the prophet. Right. Yeah. Well, let's define what imitate means. Let's do that. It means okay. to take or follow mm -hmm. as a model. You know, so now we see that the prophet over Drowley was not robbing people. That's right. He was not overcharging them. That's right. You know, he wanted them to practice and bring them into nationhood. And right. talks about moderation too. Oh, moderation. That's right. Of course. But you know, we know that hey, alcohol and all right. you know, all those, you know, vices. marijuana, right. these are vices right. that keep us in constant, they you know, that that the five folds of man that's in our record. That's right. It tears us away from a law. So, you know, if you, you can come as you are to the more science temple of America, right. but you cannot stay as you are. that way. That's right. You know, you have to work towards um, uplifting yourself and reaching a law because those things are impairments to the mind, your faculties, and it it, it suppresses your spirit. That's right. You know? So, um, yeah, real, real interesting. So, you know, the prophet over Jura Ali didn't do these things. Mm -hmm. So if we're imitating him, right. we shouldn't do those Conduct things. Mm -hmm. Conduct ones. Right. It's pretty interesting you said that because about like two weeks ago, I noticed a video of a brother. The brother had the flag hanging outside of the car. Right. You know, the brother was yelling profanity, things of that nature. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, I often hear people, you know, they say, well, you know, I'm a whore. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're a whore. But it's not, it's, it's, it's to be a Moorish American, it takes Muslim. a Muslim. It takes a lot because we're talking about, you know, changing your old habits. That's right. Breaking habits. That's you right. Know, changing you your mindset. Right. right. Because the Prophet of Ali, as you said, she's the mm -hmm. Prophet of Ali, you know, he took us from Negro, Black, and Color. So we got to leave those things in right. the past. Right, right. You know, we bring memory to A when we, when we uh, about, you know, along, uh, alongside our people. But our goal as Moorish Americans, we're supposed to be elevating our people. Right. Not setting a not setting a bad example or being a detriment. Like right. the prophet said, the prophet's general laws is a detriment. And that brings me to my next point because you might say to yourself, well, you know, she joined him. Um, you know, what that was that was almost a hundred years ago. No, we're talking about sources. Right. You know, we come it says that, you know, the seed is as perfect as a source in which it comes from. Right. And I'm and I'm paraphrasing more. Yeah. You know, but ultimately the prophet of Ali is a source. It comes from the great God Allah. So mm -hmm. we being the children of the Prophet Nova Jali, we just as perfect. But we have a gradual growth and development we have to do. And when you look at the source, because this is what this is, more this is a source. Sources can be maps, can be documents, can be it can be images, it can be cleometric, statistics, all these different aspects. And the Prophet Nova Jali actually demonstrates those particular aspects and our holy core right in the more side of America, certain seven. Right. The prophet demonstrates that. So, um, you know, we definitely need to uh, stick to the foundation of which the prophet over Dry Lee has uh, given you or not. You know, we'll, we'll find ourselves being better uh, better fathers, better husbands, you know, better, just better all friends, friends, friends right? Co co work, co co employees, employees or employers, or entrepreneurs. Right, exactly. Yeah, yeah. You know, we're going to be better, we're going to be better people. Correct. You know, we can actually start talking about, uh, Operating as a as a as a nation, I, she got um. You talk often about operational unity. Right? Operational unity. Right. Yeah, yeah. We talked a little bit about operational unity right. on, on on the first show. Okay. And uh, you know, basically, 
uh, people are talking about, well, who came first? I, it, it doesn't make a difference. Exactly. You know, if I see, like you said, if I see good in you right. and you see good in me, then we can better get along. That's right. Right. And uh, that what you were just talking about, mm-hmm. source, it takes us back to what we were talking about the first show that, you know, the doctrine of the Morris Science Temple of America is based on an ancient, um, if you will, a mystical tradition for okay. some. Okay. But it's not so mystical to others who carefully observe those particular teachings. Oh, sorry. And that's based off of know thyself. Okay. okay. So now, um, I don't care where you went, in any part of the world, whatever language that you spoke, most temples that you went into, or before you even got in there, over top of the temple, we talking about Greece. Wow. Uh, we talking about Egypt. Okay. Uh, you know, you can even examine Mexico, the Toltec tradition, okay. uh, and various other uh, ancient traditions. You'll find that over top of the doors, they had know thyself. Wow. And <laughs> this shows that we had a global network. Right. It's not just about coming from Africa right. or the Americas. Right. You know. We had a global network, and this is what the Prophet Noah Dr. Ali was trying to, or attempting, not even trying, this is what he was uh, gearing us up exactly. towards, and we can recognize or prove that according to chapter 47 okay. of the Holy Koran of the Moor Science Temple of America, That's right. that we had a global network. Right. You know, tell me the Prophet wasn't only a scientist, he was also a historian. Yeah, you know, the Prophet, he's he comes... The reason we are called the Moorish Science Temple of America because all the time the prophet is not speaking from a religious point of view. Okay. Sometimes he's speaking from a legal point of view. Okay. Sometimes he's speaking from a, a general aspect and way of life point of view. Sometimes he's speaking from, you know, a, a historical point of view. Right. So we have to carefully observe his teachings. Right. Now, interesting. Carefully. Is a compound word, <laughs> okay, made up of well, you know, I, I could be, I could be staying, staying, or staying corrected, okay. but it's care and fully, right, right, and uh, praise the law for uh, teacher Art Munchen Bay because mm-hmm. he examines uh, this, uh, these two particular definitions, okay, in his book uh, So Science, okay. right, yeah. and uh, Volume One, and it says care means serious mental attention right. um, to feel concern or interest. Mm-hmm. Now, uh, so now in knowing ourself, the prophet Noah Ali teaches us we have a higher self and a lower self. That's right. And uh, basically what happens is if we don't, be, if we're not careful, mm-hmm. depending on what self we're operating out of, right. our serious mental attention might not be there or the, the feeling, the feel or concern or our interest can be in the wrong direction, wow. which can lead others in the wrong direction. Right. And we see this happening on the more circuits, right. um, especially in the last, I'm going to say the last 15 years. Right. And when we talk about fully, which makes up the word carefully, mm-hmm. means uh, entirely, perfectly, okay. completely, counting all that can be received. Okay. You understand? So now this takes prayer and meditation, right. you know, and knowing that we don't know it all. That's right. You know, we have we have to take steps. That's right. And our uh lessons come in degrees. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Degrees. Lessons. Mm-hmm. That's right. Absolutely. Praise the Lord. That's right. And with saying that also when we're talking about the prophet being a historian, mm-hmm. you know, and we being good historians and custodians, that's right. Historians shouldn't argue or narrate beyond what evidence demonstrates is the truth. That's you right. You know, because the prophet over Dryly gives you and I in our Quran questions, our authority, he tells you what truth is, and truth is all and all is a lot. So, you know, when we look at this particular lesson that the prophet over Dryly gives you and I, mm-hmm. we understand that look, the prophet over Dryly has given us the historical point of view, as mm-hmm. you said. He might even come from a scientific point of view, mm-hmm. but ultimately he's given us a clear cut example of what to follow. That's Anything right. else that we get, we might retrieve or find after studying the prophet along with the correct questions from North Americans. We use those as supplemental God, supplemental sources That's to right. help us, you know. Because the thing is, a lot of people, you know, I, I, I'm just, I, you know, I like analyzing. Moorish Americans across the circuit, right? That's right. And a lot of Moors, I'm not gonna say a lot, but a great deal of Moors, 
I'm starting to realize that some lawyers don't know the difference between a primary and a secondary source. Oh, yeah. So they're looking at them, and then I say to myself, okay, you know, that's primary, but that's secondary. You got to know the difference between the two because you don't want to lead the people down the wrong path. You, you come up with some type of information, but the information is secondary. Correct. The primary source that we should use and utilize is North American Muslims works in the teachings of Prophet Nova Jolly, the Moorish literature, the Holy Quran, the Moorish Science of America, the Divine Constitution and Bylaws. You know, we gotta utilize these because when we utilize these, you know, we can't we can't stray away from the foundation. That's right. That's right. And 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 you know people don't uh read. Okay. And 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 what I mean by read, I'm talking about read carefully right. and know the reading skills. Right. So let's um <clears throat> you know reading skills you use background knowledge. That's right. You yeah. ask questions. You identify the author's purpose. In this instance, we're talking about Prophet Nobu Ali is the author, and we want to identify what his purpose is. That's right. We want to identify the main idea yeah. of the various, you know, I mean, ultimately the main idea of the Moorish Science Temple of America is to make all of those who you know, uh, were calling themselves or are calling themselves Negroes, Blacks, and Colored, uh, ETC, we want to, you know, make them better citizens, right? You know, uh, and ultimately make them, you know, better family people. That's right. Because, you know, this is the source of, you know, each person, uh, especially males, are the source, right? As we've been talking about, right. of how their family upbringing would be of structure. Exactly. Um, so right. school. Mm -hmm. So you oh, said yeah, main yeah. idea. Main idea. Yeah. It brought me back to the concept of school. Because that's school. something that, you know, my teachers, when I was in grade school, okay. they said, you know, find the main idea. That's right. You know, okay, where's the main idea? Mm -hmm. You know, so you're telling me that we we are actually in a school, so to speak. Yeah, because in the first show, we, we demonstrated that okay. the Moore Science Temple of America is a school. Right. And uh, for the sake of understanding, we'll define what a school is. That's right. It's any institution at which instruct instruction is given in a particular discipline wow and this particular discipline that we're talking about is more science That's right you know and some people will say oh there's no such thing but more science means more sense and more insight into life and how one can live life That's right you know and how we can better live it That's right. you know not to uh try to find a way around you know yeah, not getting arrested right. or, yeah. or Committing a crime, right. and that's not what more science is about. So, in a school that has a discipline, another name for discipline is uh, curriculum. Okay. In the curriculum, uh, by definition, are uh, the subjects comprising a course of study mm -hmm. in a school or a college, oh, right? Okay. So, we have a course of study. That's right. And even to the point to where though we make it to a senior course. <laughs> That's true. You, you see? Yeah. And uh and basically uh as a student, we must study. And what study means is we apply the mind mm -hmm. in the acquisition of knowledge. Okay. And in this case, the knowledge that we're trying to come into is understanding who we are and where we come from as a people That's right. and why we should not refer to ourselves as names that delude to slavery. That's right. And of course, in further shows, we'll go into why we don't want to call ourselves black and et cetera. That's right. That's right. You know, but you can't come into the more science temple of America and keep the old behavior. Not at all. Cause it's, it, it's not, it's going to cause friction. That's right. And that's what we see here now, you know, that's right. and, and this, Current time, you know, that's a blessing that you talk about. You made mention of, you know, the prophet over Charlie actually dealing with the past mm -hmm. and putting us to the now. Like that's right. Let the you know the earlier parts of where we come from. That's right. And why we should not, you know, uh, hold on to certain things that have never met us any good in the first place. Absolutely. And the prophet over Charlie is demonstrating chronology. Mm -hmm. You know, because when you look at chronological events, something occurred and has a train of reaction. Mm -hmm. So That's when right. you look up chronology, chronology actually is a list of events over a time in order, right? That's and right. this is what the Prophet Omar Jirali demonstrates. He demonstrates that in Acts 6. But not only Acts 6, the Prophet Omar Jirali demonstrates that throughout the Holy Quran and more science of America. Absolutely. It's chronology. 
Whatever that's way right. you read it, it's chronology. Mm-hmm. You know, that's the blessing right there. That's definitely a blessing. Yeah, that's, mm-hmm. that's absolutely. Yeah. So, you know, um, another interesting thing is because uh, all of the things that we spoke about okay. and knowing that we have a higher self and a lower self, right. it brings about uh, more morality. That's right. Right. That's right. Or morals. That's right. And that's, uh, I like to define moral. Okay. And moral is holding or manifesting mm-hmm. high principle for proper conduct. So that means you have to be careful and you also have to be selective in what it is that you are not only researching, but what you're putting out to the public. Absolutely. Okay. And how it's being put out. That's right. Exactly. You know, because we say all the time, uh, we give honor to love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice, mm-hmm. which are the five highest mm-hmm. principles That's right. known to man. Mm-hmm. So this is building our character and our conduct, mm-hmm. you know, not uh, hanging out a window with our flag, right. yelling at the police officer. It's just like, you know, right. you know right. because that's things of the lowest side. That's right. You know, so uh, we have to be very clear of what it is that, you know, we we are doing. And, and uh, even a month later, wow. right, February, November the 9th, uh, was it 9th? Yeah, 9th, 1928. Um, in the article of the prophet has spoken okay. um, to Camelback off of what you demonstrated as far as what the uh, general laws, general laws right. the prophet in the humanity pamphlet, which is given to officials That's mainly, right. That's right. Uh, he basically states in the prophet has spoken Friday, November the 9th, 1928. And the prophet says, all governors and grand sheiks and head officials that guide any body of Moors of any temple of the Moor Science Temple of America, he or she must be of moral standard and a heart of love, and their works must be of love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. They are to imitate the prophet in speech and teaching in any said temple. They must not be under the influence of intoxicating liquors or any other harmful motive that will terminate to be come a detriment to the organization. It must not be known that any leader is staying away from home or neglecting his duty at home or must allow the public to know of their wrongdoings. They must forever live the life of love at home, and it must be known by all the members. They must not speak rash words, use any profane language in the mildest form before any other individuals, because a leader without influence of good works cannot be a leader. Mm -hmm. And to be a real Moorish leader, you must study the Koran and the divine constitution that is handed down unto you by me, the prophet. Okay. And wow. you know that that's important because right. he's telling us himself right. that this is what he wanted. Right. You know, and now you have some uh Johnny come lately who right. say, Well, the prophet didn't say yeah. that, or he didn't mean this. Right. He says what he means. Right here. And you don't, right have, to, you don't have to rely. I'm not speaking radical, but mm-hmm. you really, you know, I see a lot of more who focus so much on the oral statements. Okay. Secondary sources. Okay. The prophet said this, and it's coming from brother or sister so-and-so. Okay. Which is fine and all and dandy, but the prophet over Jali, Lee, this is, this is, on, this is black and white. Trump's, it's on it. Right. It's yeah. a document. It's a piece of evidence. This is factual evidence of what the prophet said. The prophet said that we're to conduct ourselves in a certain way. That's right. You know, that we are supposed to do certain things because the prophet over Jali. Lee, you know, was carrying us into a new era of time. That's right. And the mind is also, also in the mind, manifest in the mind, but also in our life, you know, our life conduct. That's right. right. You know, that's right. Yeah. Absolutely. That's right. So yeah. we're talking about morality, you know, morals, you know, having morals. And, you know, something that kind of, you know, it was just brought to my attention. Like, you know, you see a lot of individuals. So I'm glad you said, you know, the prophet said this, the prophet said that. People are taking the prophet's words, specifically his literatures, the Holy Quran of the more sides of America, and they're changing it and altering it. And yeah. some people are actually taking the prophet's words and they're changing the words up. Yeah, you I've know, seen that. But that that's that's and that, 
That's actual. That's actually plagiarism. That's right. So when you look at it, that's stealing someone else's or representing somebody, somebody else's words or ideas. So now you're telling me in one instance, you know, you stand for love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. Mm-hmm. You love the prophet over Drive. But in the same instance, you're taking the, the founder of this movement, the one who brought us our nationality back, our flag back, and you're taking it, you're altering it, altering his words to suit your own, your own desire. Purpose or interest. Interest. Yeah, interest. Yeah, interest. It's self so invested interest. Right, right, right. Yeah. yeah. So you know that exactly. that goes back to that definition that we talked about. Okay. Um when we were talking about carefully um, care, okay, which is to feel concern or interest. Mm. You know, what do you actually care about? Right? Do you care about just you, right? Or do you care about the greater, our, uh, the greater right. good of, of our people That's being right. a nation of people? That's right. You know, and not just you trying to, you know, get rich or right. you know, uh, bring people right. onto you, and right. All that. right? Lead them to profit over your That's you right. You know, because. He definitely, truly is the man of the hours, right. and he is one of the best kept secrets of, that, of what's going on here in the United States of America. Absolutely, so that's right. Absolutely, you know. So you know, we just still talking about you know conduct doing, you know, and again, I referenced earlier about the divine constitution of bylaws. And when you read the divine constitution of bylaws, the prophet over Dry Lee gives us Act One through Act Seven, and the prophet over Dry Lee. Is teaching you what uh, what ethics look like. What's right? What does it mean to be ethical? You know, how does a North American Muslim conduct his or herself? You know, right. do you attain your meetings? Attain meetings on time. You know, probably attain your meetings on time. You know, give praise to the great God we understand. Right. Also, you know, make sure you're not slandering your brother or sister in public or in private. That's right. You know, because these things are important. You know, because you know, we'll read it on your countenance. You know, on or you might read on my counselors if I'm not being honest and upfront with you or even with myself. Because before I can be honest and upfront with you, I have to be honest with myself. You have to be. And that goes back to what you said about know thyself. Mm-hmm. You know. Know and you know, self. you know what's what's also interesting as well is that uh you know, other people throughout the world, you know, or or people want to say law. The okay. prophet studied law, right, you know. Right, right. I mean, you Black's Law Dictionary. Right, okay, right. well, how come is it that they bypass morals and ethics? Right. You know, because if you go to law school and you take uh, the bar exam, you have to take ethics. You have to take ethics. That's right. You know, and also we know and understand that some people can become disbarred mm. for unethical practices. Right. You understand yeah. what I'm saying? Exactly. And and let's define what law is. Okay. Live in Allah's sway. Ultimately. Ultimate yeah. supreme law. <laughs> you know, because before there was uh anything about jurisprudence, that's right. Uh wherever you want to say that it came from uh 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 England or here in the Americas right. or wherever, the first Laws were Allah's laws. That's right. Right. And we know we can study Prophet Moses. That's right. We can study uh Prophet Abraham. Right. You know, and basically these are the individuals who brought to the people the law. And this is where when you're talking about the individuals, you know, when we're talking about let's talk about the different areas of time. That's right. right. They actually drew a lot of their inspirations from these laws. Right? Yeah, absolutely. Exactly. I mean, if you go into the Supreme Court, yeah, you know, you'll see uh the various lawgivers, that's right, right, uh, such as Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, that's right, uh, Moses, peace and blessings be upon him, and you know, various other lawgivers, mm-hmm. uh, or people, uh, that were prophets who were poised and you know, did what Allah yeah, wanted, yeah, them, exactly. wanted them to do, exactly. So, you know, this is where we get, you know, man made laws. From right, you so, know, so then we're talking about the law, and then we're also talking about you said man, man, man right, so that's right. But they, you know, you can't have one without the supreme law, that's right, that's right, that, absolutely. If you abide, if you abide or adhere to divine law, right, then nine times out of ten, you're not going to break man made law, that's right, you know. So he's a divine prophet. And that's what he wanted us to aspire to, to become divine beings. That's right. You know, absolutely. That's, yeah, that's what the Morris Science Temple of America is all about. That's right. Coming in to know our divine nature. Okay. You know, because let the truth be told, we are the first founders of the religion. 
first religious creed, and we're the founders of civilization. That's right. You know, so so we're the founders. That's right. And when we're talking about that, you know, the prophet gives us, you know, correct details and acts out. The prophet says mm-hmm. to keep your hearts and minds filled with love and your bodies clean with water. That's right. You know, definitely because you gotta have a pure mind, you know, to carry out certain things. That's right. You can't carry out certain things if you have false intent, you know, or intent to do harm to yourself or harm to someone else. This is why the prophet, you know, he demonstrates in the general laws. And he also demonstrates in what you read in the humanity family as well. Mm-hmm. The prophet Noah Charlie gives it in chronology. One month later, the one prophet month is later. still sounding in our ears, look, this is what we need to do. Yeah. And even almost 100 years later, the prophet is still sounding in our ears, this is what you need to do. So it sounds like uh, these tools uh, that we use remind me of the tools that we use in the workshop of the mind. That's right. Not Masonic tools. Not at all. But they, they are tools that we use in the workshop of the mind. And he talks about using a hammer That's right. where we can drive home the truth. And these particular tools will help us build up character. That's right. You know, so this is what high morality and principles. And people can see it on earth. Right. You know, they can see your counting. That's right. You know, so. Mm-hmm. That's a blessing. Um, we also talk about. Ethics, right? Ethics, so that's right. So we're still dealing with ethics. So what are some ethical, just for our viewers, what are some ethical, uh, what are some things that can, can build ethical character? Say, for like, for example, brother or sister, you know, they heard about more science. Mm-hmm. They might watch YouTube. They might be watching our show right now, praise a lot. Mm-hmm. But ultimately, how can we, what, what, you know, how can we determine, not really so much determine, but how can we, how would we know a more American mind? Okay. Uh, but what, but besides the feds, because, you know, we see people making feathers now, shoot. Yeah, you know. making feathers. And then, uh, you know, like they've reduced it to, uh, you know, there's a proper manner and form and by which one would receive a feather. Exactly. You know, it's not supposed to just be sold, right. uh, if you will, because we don't sell anything. We accept donations. That's right. You know, uh, it's not supposed to just be, oh, you, away you mail inside. order right. or s- send me a uh, whatever, an inbox PayPal. Or, or whatever, <laughs> PayPal. Cash no, out. you're not supposed to receive a phase like that. Right. You are, once you become a member of the Moore Science Temple of America, That's right. then, you know, you there's a process and by which you receive your feds. Your, your feds That's right. You know, so, um, and, and even the sisters with terms, That's you right. know, they are taught the, in the school on how to do it, you know, or how to wear. So some of the things that you can recognize, you know, you you won't see uh, them arguing with police officers That's right. or, for that matter, breaking any type of law. Or any agencies, for that matter. Or any agencies. You know, we're not, yeah, we're right. Not you know, right. For the most part. You won't see us going into any agency telling them that they have mm-hmm. no jurisdiction yeah. over us, right. you know, uh, you, you won't see these particular things. Um, also, you know, sometimes you can recognize, uh, you might see a symbol. You might, and then inside of their car, they might have a small flag such as this. That's or right. mm-hmm. what's displayed on the desk here with the, the Moorish and the American flag. That's right. Or you go inside of their home or even outside of their home, they may have, you know, the Moorish and American flags. Mm-hmm. Whichever way it's flown. That's right. They, you know, these are some of the things uh, that you can recognize. Uh, mm-hmm. You'll hear them tell people, hey, I'm not black. Right, exactly. You know, the shade of my skin is olive. Yeah, that's right. You know, uh, that that's my nationality right. That's right. is more Shamar. Right. My race is Asiatic. Is Asiatic. That's right. You know, yeah, what would I say Asiatic is black man? Right. 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 We're saying Asiatic. That's right. That's right. That's right. So, you know, you these are some of the just basic ways that you can recognize and also, you'll see they have a vibrant nature about themselves. And also, they have somewhat of a glow. Sure. You know, <clears throat> um, and you'll feel, and the way that they will make you feel mm. uh, is, a, is a way that you can pretty positive. much, yeah, it's a positive, real uplifting. You know, real uplifting, mm. you know so they're not going to ask you for Finance. finances, you know, or tell you in one breath, oh, uh, well, we don't use... Uh, what is it? Fiat. Yeah, right. That's but this, I've worked 80 hours and you asking me for my fiat right. to pay for a nationality yeah, card right. or 
or a nationality package. package. No, that's that's not most right. Americans don't do that. Right. Nationality, so to speak, is free. That's right. And what we mean by free, we're saying that um, monetarily, it's, it shouldn't cost you anything. That's right. Now, if you become a member, that's right. Of course. You know, we have to upkeep the temple. Right. Uh, we need water, toilet right. paper. And it's going to cost you know, me your time here after yeah, your time because, after, you, know, right. you know, we talk about expense, but we're not we're not focusing so much on the monetary aspect. It's not what you, it's not what the more size of America can do for you. It's what you can do for the more size of America. Right. We want to see, we want you to contribute. You know, we want your input. Your or, sweat equity. Your sweat equity, exactly. Right. Your time and your efforts. And, you know, this is what it means to be a more American Muslim. That's right. You know, putting in the actual time and the work to make, you know, the, the temple, the more sides of America, you know, propel it to the next level. Right. right. To That's become a nation. Because let the truth be told, we are working towards becoming a nation of the people. That's right. You know, and it's not about, you know, I mean, all the, we already know all of that ancient, ancient hatreds, uh, issues, issues, issues for, hatreds, issues. whatever, fears. Right. We not concerned with that, not you know. Enough. We, it, I mean, I think a hundred and so, or maybe eighty at least, our years have been wasted on those particular things. Now it's just time for us to, you know, come together That's right. and whatever respect of operational unity. Because we're not saying, hey, forget your teacher. We're not saying no, that. because your teacher is important. That's right. Because your teacher is what. And led you to the more science. That's right. America. That's right. However, there are some very fundamental things that we can come together and work on or work with, such as the divine constitution of bylaws. That's right. The holy Quran of the more science temple of America. Uh, Quran questions for Moorish Americans. The Moorish literature. That's right. Humanity plans. That's right. These are the very fundamental things that we can work on. Right. And you know, agree upon can, too. I mean, can agree can upon from the source, right. the property, you know, right. that additional source with the evidence, the proof that's attached to it, the words of the prophet over right? Right. That's and, right. And before I get down on a person's or start talking about a person's teacher, that's right. First, I should seek to understand before being understood. Mm. You know, that's a good practice to practice because why don't you get into understanding why a leader may have done a certain thing. And even the person that you're talking to, they may not even know. Exactly. You know, because it happened so long Generations ago. ago. They, but they can give you a basic understanding of what, what they observed or what they carefully observed. And vice versa with, you know, with ourselves, we yeah. can do the same thing. That's right. But ultimately, we give high and esteem honor those to Prophet Noble Drow, you know, because... Once again, he is the man of the hour. And of course, there are various other individuals who came and kept the doors of the Moorish Science Temple of America open. That's right. And they did it via proper instructions. That's right. You know, that's why we're here today. That's right. You know, so proper instructions. Absolutely. Yeah. Praise our love. That's right. Yeah. So, you know, it's just, uh, you know, it's a uh, very important, you know, Scholarly, you know, the prophet over you out, he, yeah. he, he was scholarly, right? So, you know, we want to, so to speak, look towards um, some experts in certain areas, right? You know, um, uh, because we we read from various different sources, as we do, you know, but we ultimately we use the prophet over Ali as our uh, as our springboard, right. so to speak, exactly, or our pivot point, that's right, you mm -hmm. know, and as a result of that. You know, this is how we actually come into the understanding of, you know, what the Prophet Noah Ali was actually speaking of and using it in the right context. Right. Because I've seen people who they've taken a bit and piece of what the Prophet Noah Ali said. Mm -hmm. You know, just like some preachers it's take the Bible and, and take wrong. bits and pieces of it right. and run with it. Right. Or, you know, um, I've seen people take bits and pieces of, you know, various aspects of what Prophet Noble Drali has demonstrated, mm -hmm. and they'll just demonstrate a portion that fits to the criteria. context that they want it to fit. Right. And, you know, try to make other people look bad. Yeah. And, not, yeah. yeah and that's that's really not, that's not scholarly. It's not ethical. And it's not ethical. Right. And it's definitely not moral. Not at all. Right. And it's definitely not connected to anything that's divine. Not at all. 
Yeah. You know, that's what the prophet actually, you know, the prophet demonstrates that too in the Moorish literature. Mm. Because the prophet over Jali, the prophet over Jali demonstrates the more Moorish latest historical message. The prophet over Jali, you know, he explains to you or not, I'm just gonna read a portion of it, right? The prophet says, read carefully the, the, the doctrines of the more science of America. So everything that she belongs may just made mention of, they made mention of. Yes, so right. the prophet said, you know, the prophet said to read the doctrines. And he said, it contains our hopes, our aims, our rules, and articles of religion, mm. right? He said, every member should have a copy. Every member should have a copy. In conclusion, I urge to you remember that it is work enough for all to do and help them build a better world. So that means, you know, from the individual just coming into the door, for the more who's been there for 60, 70 years, mm -hmm. we got work amongst all of us, you That's know? Right. And the prophet also says the problems of life are largely social and economic. Social and economic. Now, let's talk about that, right? right? So he says it's social, you know, we're talking about community, we're talking about nation, we're talking about organization, everything right. on, this, on this show tonight. But the prophet also explains to you and I that there's a, a per something parallels off with that social and emotional aspect, economic aspect. That's right. And that social economic aspect is this. The prophet says, in a profound sense, they are moral and spiritual because this is what this is what's going to take. This is what's going to take. It's going to take us to tap into that moral and spiritual aspect as North mm -hmm. American Muslims to take this to the next level. That's you right. know, regardless of what house you may sit in, That's you know, right. this is what more said. You know, it's going to take moral and spiritual uplifting to deal with those social and economic problems we find ourselves in. And, and let's be clear when we're talking about house. Right, because there's only one right. house. Right. Well, we we not talking about nothing to make some. No, not I just got it. We ain't talking about nothing dealing no. with shrines. Not at all. We not are not talking right. about when we say house, we are talking about whatever jurisdiction That's right. or, or various leaders That's right. that you come from That's right. after the prophet of Drali. So I just wanted to be clear. No, that's that. clear. And when we talking about moral and social okay. now he says in a more profound sense okay it's uh spiritual and right. and, and religious Religion. no moral and spiritual oh, moral, moral and spiritual, spiritual. That's right. so now what happens is now we start to see where the high self and the lower self come in mm -hmm. right and and getting to know that man is a tri-unity okay you know that we have a we have a spirit a soul and a body that's right you know and those Three things have to be harmonized wow. in order for us to operate at our uh, host, ho our holistic and full and That's optimal right. capacity. Okay, right? okay. So you know, there's no. We might have an issue. You right. know, we had you right. and I have right. in the past, right? But we were right. able to, right. yeah, we were able to come together, right. work it out, and move forward. And move forward. And that's, I mean, yeah. and that's what brothers and sisters or people in general, that's right. like. It shouldn't bog us down to the point where I'm not talking oh, to you, right. or, you know, and, and that's immaturity, that's you know, and, or elementary. And we have to rise above those particular things. And these are the more profound, you know, because that's work that we have to do that's internal, right. you know, and some mental, you know. So these are some of the things that, you know, we've learned coming into the more science temple of America and aspiring to become. Who it, it, it is that that we say that we are, which are sheiks. That's right. You know, so you know, but, you know, the prophet also says, you know, have a lofty conception of your duties to country and your fellow men hmm. in general, and especially those of whom you deal. Yeah, so right. that means we in the public, we in the private, we in your home. When you deal with just, you might be on your job, you might like you said earlier, you might be an entrepreneur, you might be dealing with your employees. That's right. You gotta have a lofty conception of your duties to your country and your fellow men. So the prophet, he didn't say that we're agitators. He didn't say that we aren't, you know, we're not citizens. The That's prophet right. never said that. The That's prophet right. lets you know and I, lets you, you and I both know, or those of you who are listening in our audience know that we are, in fact, citizens of this country. Mm -hmm. You know, in that fact, we have a duty and obligation to follow the laws of this country. That's right. On top of the divine laws of this country. That's right. You know, because <clears throat> let the prophet demonstrate. Because let the truth be told, you know, there were, there were 35 more. That's right. <laughs> and 20 Anglo Saxons That's who right. actually established the what this country is all about. So the Prophet Noble Jir Ali was never at odds yeah. with, with America. That's right. You know, and, and in later shows, we'll go in to demonstrate and prove that what we're saying is the gospel truth. Facts, right. You know, and, and you know, so people were saying, you know. 
Yeah, it has some very some some people who are in place mm -hmm. that are not really adhering to the principles or the creed of uh, what this country is all That's about right. and was founded exactly. on. That's right. But we can't wholeheartedly blame the whole country, right. you know, because somewhere I, I hear say this land is your land, <laughs> this land is my right. land. From where California right. to the New York right. Islands. Right. So. When we talk about the history of California and we talk about the history of the New York Islands, right. I think people might change their conception mm -hmm. of what it is that's actually being said. You know, so yeah. um, yeah. man, you know, I praise Allah every day for the prophet Noble right. and you know the Moore Science Temple of America and all those who have you know kept the doors of the Moore Science Temple of America. Allow us the opportunity to even be here. You know, that's right. Allow us the opportunity. You know, right, right, that's right, definitely. You know, so we we are uh, winding down. That's we right. have probably a little less than uh, four minutes, okay. uh, or three minutes, really, yeah, um, left in the show. Definitely. Um, we hope that you know people have learned a little bit of something from you know what we're presenting here. And uh, you know we had a little technical difficulty yeah, for the past two weeks, and we apologize right. to you because. You know, probably you were waiting, looking forward. Right. Right. Yeah, or, what, or these guys not going to be consistent. Right. You know, no, but no, no, no. we we really appreciate you for being patient with us. Uh, you know, like I said, we kind of new to this, um, but we are definitely true to this. That's right. And um, um, basically, you know, we we ask you to keep tuning in. That's right. Um, I think we got all our technical. Issues. Not saying we won't experience it again, yeah, exactly. but um, I think we had most of that worked out. That's okay. And uh, you know we're going to uh, move forward and bringing you, like we said at the beginning of the of uh, our shows and our introduction, mm -hmm. we're going to bring more sense right. to what it is that you know the more Science Temple of America, um, Prophet Noble Dr. Ali, and the law is all about. That's right. You know, so. We also like to, you know, encourage you if you haven't already done so, like the Facebook page, North American Society of Maryland. Oh, yeah. Also, make sure you look up our website, www.nokujuali.org. Definitely check the website out. And last but not least, we invite you out on Friday, whole day, um, from eight to 10, 1055 North Milton Avenue here in Baltimore, Maryland. Um, come on, we give praise to the God of the understanding. You know, bring family if you have a family. That's right. Bring yourself if you have yourself. You know, just, you know, come out and hear a good word. And then on Sundays, we invite you out for more Sunday school and bring your questions and your answers as well. Because yes, we know, like she, like she just said earlier, we know we don't know it all. You know, we know that we have a portion, you have a portion. So we That's invite right. you to bring your portion out under <clears throat> love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice, of course. That's right. That's right. And if you're in a, if you're in a city okay. that has a more sign of simple America, please feel free to visit that more yeah, science really. temple of America right. and uh you know wherever it may be or if you can drive you know that's not gonna take you out your way you know please feel free to do that that's you right. know so um we're not gonna hold you unduly <laughs> but thank you for tuning in absolutely uh and you know in the near future we'll definitely be back next Thursday excuse me next Thursday same Morris time same Morris channel that's right it's love and peace it's love and peace